Brother, I'm so glad you asked us. This is going to be a great video. Let's start with the easy ones. The Shemitah is a seven-year cycle. Every seven years, Israel was supposed to forgive all their debts. They were also supposed to not plant to give the land a chance to recover. Not allowing the earth to regenerate is why we had things like the Dust Bowl. When you strip all the nutrients out of the soil, it becomes dead. So this was a chance to let the soil regain its nutrients and recover. And like I said earlier, it was a chance to forgive everybody's debts. We'll see the number seven a lot in the Bible. That's because it's the number of completeness. That's why God created everything in seven days. And when it comes to Jubilees, this is incredibly interesting. Seven times seven is 49. So we find kind of a Dramatria effect there. The 50th year is the Jubilee year, where it resets the cycle. And it keeps everything nice and even. But check this out. Genesis 6.3 Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be 120 years. Now this doesn't really make much sense, does it? We have many recorded genealogies where the people's lives exceed 120 years. Even after what happened on Mount Sinai when all this was recorded. And a lot of people, myself included, think this was the Father encoding our expiration date in the Word. It's very likely that when the Father said man's days shall be 120 years, he did in fact mean jubilee years. And he was speaking about all of mankind, not men individually. So what do we get when we multiply 120 by a jubilee year, which is 50? 120 times 50. Boop, 6,000. And wouldn't you know it, that falls right in line with everything else we think. One day is as a thousand years to the Lord. He created everything in six days and rested on the seventh. He toiled, he worked hard for six days, 6,000 years. And the millennial reign is the 7,000th year. The year of rest. The Sabbath. Everything is a foreshadow for Christ from the beginning of the book to the back of it. And wouldn't you know it, based on biblical math, we're right at about 6,000 years old. That would be really convenient for the end times to start around then, don't you think? Because things get really hard right before the rest. I don't know about you guys, but I think we're getting pretty close to that millennial Sabbath.